Well, guys. Yeah. Look. Raining again. It's like a constant theme, isn't it? Every day, raining. It's Tuesday. My son has gone back to school. So, usually around the start of the week, I go around charity shops. And I think I need to because... There is a midweek car boot on a Wednesday, but it's going to be cancelled again. So I obviously need to get some stock for this week um, before the car boots at the weekend. That's if they come on. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go around the local areas where I usually do and see if I can find some decent stuff to pick up. Also going to the auctions today uh, because of some 1970s Marvel comics. Going to go and have a look at them personally. So I'll take you around to show you what they look like. But yeah, hopefully we can find some good stuff. So if you're excited for this video, obviously hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and comment down what was your favorite pick today. Night jacket. Nice badge. Eight quid extra charge. Um, just a bit pricey. A bit plain as well. So the weather it doesn't seem to be getting any better soon. Oh, let's have a look. Nothing special. Oh, jewels, that's good. Five quid, it's a gilet. Just checked up on prices. They go for about 40 quid, these do. Pre-owned and new. So I'm definitely gonna get this. So, oh, what do we have here? Some Mendel boots. Are they Gore-Tex? Uh, no, they're not Gore-Tex, but Mendel. Oh, good boots. That one's all right. Let's have a look at the other one. Heelwear's all right. Probably looking about 50, 60 quid for these boots. Six and a half, I think. Yeah, about six and a half. Or six and a half, quarter. Ten quid. Yeah, no work there. Yeah. 20 quid for a barber top. Mm. So we've got some Dickies steel toe cap boots with 18 quid. They don't really sell for much. Uh, Chan. Uh, this shop's pretty expensive. I have picked up some good stuff from here before, but renewally it's expensive. Always look at your ties as well. But like I say, the price is quite high out in here. I mean, four quid for a tie, that's a Mark Spencer one, so no chance. So I have been to the other two shops, got some stuff, but I'll show you what they are when I get home. The Charlie shops are done around here. Just gonna go into the auctions to see these comics, see what they're like. Actually, the auction's already started, so they might have already gone, but let's go and find out. So the uh, auction was going off, so I couldn't film anything, and the actual comics were behind one of the counters, so I can't, you can't go behind the counters when it's uh, the auction day. I got somebody to get them out for me, and so I could have a look, and they're all UK-based. Comics, if you're thinking about getting comics, yes, they're still collectible, but they're nowhere near as collectible as the American versions. Um, and also... There wasn't anything really good. There was Conan ones, which are collectible, but there wasn't no decent ones. Uh, there was some Spider-Man ones, but it wasn't like Spider-Man, the good ones. They just don't fetch money like the American ones. But I'm now going to Shrewsbury. I just picked up a Monster. This is my drink. This is my drink. I actually own Monster Company. And I tried the Peaches one. So... Peaches, 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 I love you. I'm on a bit of a mad one today. I'm trying to stay positive because it's absolutely chucking it down. I have got some more stuff that I didn't put on camera because the people who work there were standing literally behind me like they was breathing heavily on me. Um, so I couldn't film, but I have picked up some nice little items. Not big earners, but some nice items. But we'll show you when we get back home. I haven't got a clue about these, but I know some of them are worth a lot. Yeah, five quid, uh, fake. 
we've got here is some dry fit Barcelona shorts. They are small, they're real, but look at that. 20 pound for them, not bad. Nice trainers, but eight quid, not worth it. Also, I've seen these, eight pound. I've already got a white version of these, I now sold them, so I'm not gonna buy them for eight pound when I picked up some of them. Oh, look what we've got here. Manchester United top, Cantona on the back. 15 quid, but I've just done the research and it's a copy. Reason being, on the Umbro sign, on an original one, which have been sold for a lot of money, it has the actual size on the label there. Ones have been sold for 29.99, which are these. They're like imitations, they're good ones, but yeah. It is in too good a condition to be an old one from 1992. A shame, and it's not worth the money. This Columbia titanium jacket, eight pounds. Sells for about 25 quid, so it's just not fetching enough for me. Yeah, a lot of stuff is quite pricey in there. Don't know if I could have it on camera because it was blaring out the music, and obviously I get paid, and they copyright stuff, so. If it's not on there, it's not on there, but yeah, a lot of price stuff in there. This is a For Real Friends, I've never seen this one. It's a walking one. I've sold the big version of this, but these only fetch around £10, and they want £5, so no chance. I've got one more charity shop left. I have actually just popped to the shop to get a meal deal. £3.50, chicken salad, the best chocolate bar in the world and innocent uh, smoothie, energy dry, whatever drink it is. Post be on a diet because I've got holiday and I want to get my uh, my shredded six pack back. Um, but yeah, it's hard. When you haven't been to the gym for a while, I am actually a member of the gym paying 30 quid and I haven't been, um, I've been once so far. Um, yeah, so I need to get back on it. A couple of charity shops I went to were rubbish. I didn't even bother filming. Got one more charity shop. It's the good one where I pick up a lot of good stuff. Um, hopefully, I'll find some good stuff in there. But I'm going to eat my food first and then go in there. And hopefully, pick up some more stuff. Nice. Six fifty. Nice. Nice. Go for about 25 quid. Conditions terrible. Look at that. Well, for rent. So there's two here, and they're both for 15 quid. I have sold these before, but these are the cotton blend ones. If they were warm, they're worth a lot more. But you're looking about 25 quid. So even though they are nice, there's no room for any profit. Face. Police. A large 650. That is not bad. Let's check if it's real. Just checked. Look at that 25 quid. For £6.50, it's definitely worth it. A nice feeler top, but feeler does not sell very well. It came back in fashion, but it's sort of like gone back out of fashion again now. I picked up this, it's a North Face fleece, a large one, it's a pretty new one as well, so it's all legit, got the tags in the in the bottom as well. You're looking around 25 quid, it's in immaculate condition. And then I was gonna go because that was the only thing, but I saw these at the till. And these are my first books. The whole set complete. And they cost me a fiver. Solds are very strong on these and they sell for 25 pounds for the whole set, so great little buy there just got back home but somebody on facebook market has just accepted my god somebody on facebook market has just accepted my offer for some magazines so i'm going to pick them up show you what they are because there's some potential big money in these so yeah I'm going to go and get them now what i picked up is this series of magazines comes with the component it's called ultimate real robots there's 71 issues. I've seen people selling like 10 issues sealed 
for anything between 20 quid to 30 quid um, I don't know how many issues there is some of them have been opened I think up to issue 12 she said and started making it and he's just like I can't be bothered anymore but yeah if there's 70 issues and I can sell them for 20 quid each yeah there's a bit of money there isn't there so I'm back home now um, and it was okay today mm, nothing that blew my mind but there was a few nice things I'm gonna get some good profits so I'm gonna start with the books you didn't see these on camera but I picked up these books these are my first books it's basically 25 books A to Z and um, they're actually from America so they <laughs> some of the spelling I've just seen it some of the spellings are not like you spell it in England so um, but yeah, pretty much like that. And they're pretty strong when they come to selling. A whole set, like I've got here, sell for 25 quid, and I paid a fiver. Also, I picked up these books, brand new, the VTech ones where you stick on to um, like a VTech learning system thing. Um, I thought they might be worth a bit more because a Bob Builder one, a Dora Explorer, and a Thomas the Tank Engine. The Bob Builder gets about £5. There's not many sales as well, so I might just bundle these up. I will check the other two before I do sell them, but I'm probably going to bundle them up all three um, and sell them for 15 quid. I only paid a quid for them, so it's still going to be a good profit. They might take a while, but Vinted, stick them on for a fiver each on Vinted, um, or stick them on Vinted for 20 quid. I don't know. We'll see. One of my nicest items I bought today, I do like this top, it's a Under Armour. I don't know if it's a golf one, could be used as a golf one. It feels like golf like material, that stretchy material. Two, two XL, so Kaji, if you are watching, this will fit you. If you want it, I paid £3.50, give me a tenner and I'll do mate's rates for you because I think that suit you mate. Um, so yeah, it's a 24 quid top, so let me know. You can have it for a tenner um, and postage and I'll send it to you. The next item is this and this is one I'm going to make a lot more money on. Paid £5 for this and it's a Jules. Jules is a company to go for. If you're looking for like clothing wise which is not over the top but they always price Jules cheap for some reason. I'm trying to, I don't think they really know about Jules. I sold lots of Jules like park coats and that for like 25 35 quid um and they always price them around the five quid mark this fetches between 30 to 40 pounds i've seen sales of this actual one it's like a leopard print sort of um effect and yeah 30 quid all day long i probably could even get more paid a fiver also picked up some shorts and I'm probably going to keep these from a lad. Um, they are a small men's, but my lad is a tank. He is he's like f f almost, yes, I think he is actually over five foot now, and he's only nine. But like I said, he can fit into a small man's, and it'll be baggy on him. Some holiday shorts, proper Barcelona shorts from um, the 2000s. Four quid, I mean... I'm gonna buy them shorts anyway. You know, a pair of shorts at Primark is gonna cost that much, but at least he's gonna wear a pair of decent shorts. And if if he knackers them up, he knackers them up, so it doesn't make any difference. I will put them on eBay and Vinted, but I'll make sure these sell for around nineteen ninety nine. So I'm gonna put them on for nineteen ninety nine. If they don't sell by the holidays, then my son can have them. Next is this, it's a Jack Wills. DLA, it's a really nice one. It's an extra large. I paid six quid for it. Don't usually buy this brand because they don't really fetch high prices. They're all right, you know, but usually they want in charity shops like between six to ten quid for a coat and they only fetch about 20 quid. This I couldn't find, so I've got to do a bit more research, but it's a big, big, thick puffer gillet. So it's a different colour. It's, it's, I think it's a better quality one and it's heavy. So yeah, six quid. I don't know. I can't see this not selling for at least 25 quid. 
If so, 20 quid all day long. The next one is a top I might keep. It's a large, I fit large to extra large, um, just because I'm hench and I've got muscles on muscles. But um, yeah, it's a large North Face fleece quarter zip. 25 quid all day long. I paid £6.50 and it's been washed. It, can, it just smells really nice. So it's in really good condition and it's a new version. So it's got all this, like, you can trade it back into North Face and obviously they're, they're now sell it to some rag company probably. But it's got the barcode in. Really nice top. I might keep that, but I'm not a big North Face fan. I think it's very chavvy. Finally, some Mendel hiking boots. These are women's. If you've never heard of this company, you will now. These are not Gore-Tex, but they will still fetch me 50 to 60 pounds. They are really high quality walking boots. I've only ever picked up one pair of these and those Gore-Tex ones and I sold them for 100 pounds on Vinted. So when I saw these, I went, I'm gonna have them because I don't care. I know they're gonna be worth a lot of money. Obviously not Gore-Tex, um, but still about 50 pound. Uh, I paid a tenner for them, so I'm gonna clean them up, polish them up, make them look all nice and shiny. And I guarantee these will be gone within the next week or so. I haven't really picked up much today, but the stuff I picked up was quite good. Um, the car boot has been cancelled tomorrow, so no car boots for me. What a surprise. I uh, got football in the morning, so I don't have to get up really early, so that's nice. I'm meeting some work colleagues from my old job and seen them for about two months, so it'd be nice to meet them. But yeah, um, I have been thinking about doing something it might be around about june time i'm thinking about having a meetup so this is to all the people who basically are um are on the other reseller side of the community and um, the ones that all like have been giving me support all the people that agree with what i do say on some of my videos um, I'm thinking about getting a get together for us lot. Don't know where. I'm probably going to do a proper video about it this week sometime. Around June time when the weather's a bit better. On a Saturday, getting together on like a night, you know, where we all can have a socialise, have a bit of fun, have, have a laugh, and then maybe go to a car boot in that area. So if you're interested, comment down below. Um, tell me where you are in the UK. You want to do it somewhere where everybody can get to quite easily. Somewhere that, you know, it's not people travelling miles and miles for. You know, maybe somewhere like Birmingham or something like that because it's the centre of UK. Um, but let me know if you want to, if you think it's a good idea. If I get enough people interested, then it's on. I'll organise it all. I'll do some information about it. Um, um, and if we get enough people going... You know, you don't have to pay. We'll just meet up at a, like a, a pub area or something like that. Um, Socialise, get to know each other, not leave each other out, not leaving somebody in the corner feeling like they're all, um, they're not worthy of anybody. Um, and I, if there's enough people going, I'll probably do a little giveaway as well for a little raffle so somebody will get something for free. If you're interested, let me know. So I know some numbers, so I've got plenty of time, but I will be doing a proper video about this probably this week sometime. So if you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.